All right, guys, we had a pretty bullish day for APT, a bearish day for the market. Let's go through our coronavirus tickers. First of all, I misread our four hour time frame on APT, but that is okay because we respond to price action. Yesterday I said I think we're too far extended for a bull flag, and I stand by that. This does not look like a bull flag that I would want to be interested in. But what we did talk about was the hourly trend, and that is what really was the early signal and the only signal on APT's action today. So we had our low at 11.55, we had 13 psychological, and we said if we could set a higher low and break 13, then we saw an hourly trend change and we started looking toward the bulls. Well, they definitely did that in a pretty big way today. On the five minute time frame. they just absolutely pummeled that 13 resistance and they had a beautiful 15 minute setup. There's that higher low and holding that support level and then just carried away into a bull flag into the end of the day and just a beautiful, powerful move by the bulls so what's the what's the story here what's the lesson watch your price action be prepared for all scenarios and be prepared to react to them I had to change that percentage all right so what's next so apt big breakout over 13 today we had our high day so that's going to be a resistance let's go actually clear our charts start fresh high resistance is 1754 and then our next resistance on the daily time frame is way up here right at 20, 2165 the only issue that i have at this point is that we are going to be very extended on a lot of time frames so we're going to be looking for some consolidation we can count this as a daily higher low so at this point bulls can come down and anything over 1155 is going to be a higher low on the daily on the four hour time frame, we're starting to get, in fact, we are overbought at 79.71. And we can come back on the four hour time frame all the way down to 11.55 and still be in this nice four hour uptrend. So a change has occurred. Bulls have shown up, but they are overextended and they need to rest. So 11.55 is our higher low. On the hourly time frame, here's that hourly trend change. And on the hourly time frame, RSI is 89. Last time we got up into this area was from our breakout on the 30th. And you can see that we just got above 89. And that is a resistance level in the form of RSI. So what we can expect, indeed what we need to see, is some pullback and establish a higher low. So a lot of names, or I should say a lot of time frames are extended and we need to see that consolidation. So what we want to see is that pullback. Look for trend changes and see if we can't get some upside continuation. It's going to be really, really tough, I think, for the bulls to maintain this sort of strength where they are now. And there's going to be uh, quite a bit of consolidation needed. We can look for potential patterns. If we see a sharp pullback, we'll look for equilibrium. If we see a steady, slow grind by unsuccessful bears, we're going to look for a flag. There's a lot of potential here, but good move by the bulls. If you capitalized on this, congratulations. Uh, just a good, solid move overall. Now we're expecting some consolidation. Let's go check out LAKE on the daily time frame. This one was a little bit interesting. We lost yesterday's low of support. So we had that Marabuzo that we talked about. That was that close where the bulls were nowhere to be found bulls are complete or bears are completely controlling the price action up into the close and we see that with our open and continue down and they see that push and finally bulls say no we're following apt we're feeling good and we are going to have a nice push to the upside so what have we done so far have we changed the trade daily trend we haven't but we have confirmed that we've got our higher lows so so far we are expect respecting the 1380 level but we still have a lot of work to do to change the trend 1880 is the last uh resistance that we need to get over bulls are well on their way toward that and if we see a strong move like we have seen today it's possible we'll test that level but we will be really extended by that time so it's a a, a top fish opportunity with a little bit of risk associated to it as always so daily time frame resistance 1880 and high a day from seven or from today 1785 on the support side we do have low of day 1507 let's go to the four hour time frame and see how we're doing there four hour change of trend needs to see a higher low over 1507 it's great that we have this hourly uptrend hourly downtrend we change the hourly trend and we basically have a straight shot up getting close to the 1880 which means on the uh hourly time frame we're going to be overextended 7640 with no consolidation except for a brief bit of uh, low today at 1535 anything over top of that is going to be an hourly higher low for the bulls 1880 resistance rsi is getting quite hot and on the 15 minute time frame we are just over 70 taking these little stair steps on our way as we approach 1880 so i would look for a little bit of caution as we head toward 1880 resistance look for possible top fish and your short use stops 
because as we've seen today, these names can move quite quickly, quite fast. So we always want to protect our investments and our money and our capital. CODX on the daily time frame, another strong name. And this is strong because of the response that the bulls have given. We saw a bearish uh, continuation initially. We saw a push to the downside, a really aggressive move by the bulls. The only part I don't like is that, oh, I can't really even see the volume too well here underneath this E, but let's see what our volume is. Of course, it's gonna hide it from me. Well, we'll move on here. <laughs> I need to turn off that TD. Uh, what I want to see and what I want to show you is with the volume that's associated with this candlestick. Actually, we can't see it. How about that? All right, so it's a low volume day. What I want to see is a big volume climax at the bottom of this downtrend. We see indecision yesterday. We see the bears pushing the price down, bears answering back. And what I want to see is that increased volume that shows that the bears have absolutely exhausted themselves. And in addition to being a regular bear day, bulls are now buying up everything that they can pushing the price back now this is the bottom of a downtrend this is going to be close enough to a hammer for me to be interested in calling it that I, I like to see very very technical setups the problem with this and the problem with calling it a hammer is that we have this upper wick if bulls are in complete control and this is a true hammer we don't have this profit taking toward the end of the day even as small as it is a four cent spread we want to see that perfect close anyway bulls are still here and they've taken advantage of the situation the only condition and the reason i'm hesitant is that we've got a low of 750 double bottom support so this has now become resistance and our our high of day is 749 so let's jump right to the five minute time frame to take a look at that and we need to turn off this td that i've been playing with or is it there 750 close to support and we can see that we've absolutely crushed that going into after hours so a big move let's pay attention to this let's see what it looks like on the daily time frame actually just go right back to the hourly 875 going to the daily and look where the bulls are now 875 sitting right up here coming up against that daily ema resistance what a move in after hours let's see where we open up tomorrow but let's say we open up right here we're gonna have to get over top of 875 resistance we're gonna be massively overextended on a lot of time frames if we go to our hourly we will be uh close to 70 because we've pulled back quite early and at this current price we're at 60 so yes we will be overextended on the hourly time frame quite a move actually i'm kind of dazzled by what the codx bulls are able to do with this so 875 resistance 970 and we've got a very very strong move by the CODX bulls. VIR on the daily time frame, however, has not seen the sort of strength that we have seen in these other names so far. We've lost a couple of key supports, 32 and uh, 32 psychological, 32.95, which is a support from the low of day on March 31st, and bears are currently in control. Our next support is 21 or 29 psychological, and then 27.41. So I'm gonna go ahead and clear my charts, and then I'm gonna mark out these new support levels, 29 psychological, and then over here, 2741. Going to the four hour time frame, we can see why this is an important level. We have an hourly counter trend to our four hour downtrend. If we lose 29, it's like that means we are confirming that four hour downtrend, after which we would look for a break of 2741 for a good flush follow through and possibly looking for bulls to answer back with a lower high with a lot of work uh, to do to get a new high, which is currently at 3795. So, what that would mean to visualize that for you guys would be we would need to see the price drop through these two supports and then bounce back up and because we had to go all the way back up to 37.95 to possibly change that trend it just seems unlikely and the most likely scenario will be a lower high in the four locking in that overall four hour downtrend however if this is indeed going to be a laggard play to what we have seen in these other names so far and the bulls decide to show up in force what we're going to need is an hourly trend change right now we need a 3085 but i would be more interested in a break over 3215 that would have us over these ema resistances on the hourly time frame and that would have us well on our way to breaking ema 12 if we see sustained strength so right now vir is weak if it's a laggard look for that hourly trend change and take it from there nvax was a little bit different yesterday we talked about how this guy was in a nice four hour uptrend we hadn't seen that weakness we saw an indecision candlestick yesterday, but we still had that nice four hour trend. And that is basically what has continued. We have so far held above 1325. We need to establish that four hour higher low, which could be from the low of day today, 1373. If we see an hourly trend change and a move to the upside with the bulls breaking over top of 1424, 
That would lock in that four hour trend change and keep this very healthy move going for the for the bulls with the ultimate target uh, as 1628 resistance. Lots of fun stuff happening. If you like trading these guys, uh, send me a note. I'd love to chat about it. Info at the Have a good day. I'm going outside. <laughs>